what's up you guys it's your girl going back at it again with a brand new video and welcome to the first episode of the sims life story vincent story yay so we're kind of on to like the season two of life stories here this is vincent and oh okay this is vincent's house okay so quite the contrast to Riley Vincent is he's very rich actually <laughs> so our boy Vincent he 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 got money he he not the cutest right now but oh actually mm. as soon as we fix the hair I mean he won't be too bad I'm a little bit sick guys sorry <laughs> Maybe that was just the morning, so. Welcome to Bitville. Is that a pun on Bitcoins? I feel like that is, oh, he has a man cave. I think that's a pun on Bitcoins. Uh, it's good to be finally home after that two week business. The Sims sat to tennis. It's fine. It's great to finally see Samantha again. I should go and give her a kiss. She won't soon forget. Okay, before we do that, my friend, let's let's change her appearance here. Samantha can wait right there. She probably a gold digger. Probably a good gold digger. Let's let's be honest. So we're just gonna. You a fresh new do, man. Should we give him a man? No, <laughs> let's not give him a man bum, guys. No. No. Um, no. E. Feeling the bun. Uh. Mm. Yeah, let's go with this one. Oh yeah, he likey, likey. Okay. Dang. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, she, she likes his tushy. Oh. Vincent, it's been three weeks since we started seeing each other. It's time we make it official. I planned our wedding while you were away. I bought a lovely wedding arch with your titanium card. This is way too fast for me, Samantha. We've only been seeing each other for three weeks and it's been time off. I was ready to marry you. I thought you loved me. You'll come to realize what a huge mistake you've made. I promise. I think she a little loco. Yeah, it's like Oh my Oh my god, it's like really dirty here. Can we call like a maid? <laughs> no, don't clean up yourself. You're going to ruin the story. You don't seem like a guy that would clean up. Okay, this is going to be nasty, but he really needs to pee, so Someone made a mess of my house while I was away. I'll hire some help to get this back into shape. I knew it. See, we call a maid. We don't clean it ourselves. 
It's ridiculous. Yes, yes, whatever. I can't believe Samantha put a wedding arch on my deck while I was away. And where's my best friend Greg? He was supposed to be looking after this place. To sell the Okay, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Not like it hurts his bank account. <laughs> Maybe we should have hired two maids. I'll PA twice. Greg's finally back from wherever. I should talk to him and find out where he's been this whole time and why this place is such a mess. Ooh, that's Greg. Where you been? Huh, Greg? Dude, um, back so soon. I was going to clean up everything. Sorry about the mess. Don't worry about it, Greg. I just hired me. So why did you let Samantha put a wedding arch in my yard? That really freaked me out. We just broke up over it. All oh, right, dude. She had this crazy look in her eye and this big smile on her face. There was no way I was going to mess with her. On the bright side, I just bought this awesome new computer. Oh, by the way, uh, don't ask about your old computer. That's a pretty lit computer. That's right, set up your gaming rig, man. Chapter 1, as soon as I got back from... The SimSat 9000 communication satellite launch. Samantha basically tried to get me to marry her. After three weeks of dating, I had just gotten back from a two-week business trip. It would, it would have been a little too creepy for us to stay together after that, which is fine because Samantha stormed off after I refused to marry her. <laughs> Told you, she a gold digger. Yeah, it's annoying me. Yay, let's go play together. Oh, he has to go. Bye, dude. She still has to clean. Did she clean everything, though? No. Ah, she'll come back tomorrow and finish up. Mm, I guess we can take a shower and use the bathroom again. Oh yeah, we should probably take a better look at him. We have to give him his own fashion show, guys. Okay, that's... Wait, wait for, wait for it, wait, oh, wait, oh, nope, oh man, hey, so that's our main character, dang, I'm gonna screenshot this, pew pew, I like how he's kind of smiley and Riley was always kind of grumpy. Mm -mm. 
Does he work? Oh, he does. Not like he really needs to. Awkward, uh, yeah. It's just gonna be a little bit quiet now. Nobody's in these places. Oh, dang, those are some pointy trees. Oh, you look to be tired. God dang it, Vincent. So let's, how about you use the bathroom, take a shower, yeah, you could have some breakfast. Let's see. Don't make too much work for the maid, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we have a dishwasher. Um, watch TV again? I don't know. Dang, he's just gonna be an amazing cook after this. Um, have lunch? I don't know. Legit nothing to do. Dude, all the guys are going bowling tonight. Forget Samantha, you need to get out of that house. Greg is right. I need to get my mind off of Samantha. I haven't bowled in a while. That should be fun. Alright, let's just take a shower. Let's see if he has any other everyday clothes. Oh, this is way better. Or do we have, like... This looks kind of bowly ish right? Bowling-ish? Probably not. I like this one better anyway. No. Oh, Erica looks very similar to Samantha. Call taxi. I feel like he should have his own car. Oh, Don Calamari. Is that love Calamari? God, taxi drivers are crazy. I'm gonna give my man Vincent time to get there. Pium, 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 pium. Pium, pium, pium. He's like, dude, you made it. Hey, man. We already ha we're already we already bowling. Join the fun. Oh, God. That guy has a nose. Greetings and salutations, Vincent. Oh, uh, well. Greetings and salutations to you, too, man. Dude, it's good that you made it out with yesterday being so crazy or anything. I don't even want to talk about that right now, Greg. I thought I liked Samantha, but I didn't think she tried to pressure me into marriage after three weeks. Yeah, dude, Samantha was a total basket case, I guess. 
Ah, uh, a swan. A swan song between the re of love, however, the truth. Okay, I'm not reading that. Dude, Sherman's right. She wishes probably after your simoleons. Oh, well, thank you for making that clear. Vince, you don't look. Don't look now, but that girl at the coffee bar is really cute. You should go get a cup, dude. Hey, she is pretty cute. Come on, Vincent, go in. <laughs> that was a, like a really cheesy line. Oh, she likes me too. Bro, she digged me. Let's play some more bowling, bro. Who's up for the... Oh, pool. Last time I checked, three people can't play pool. I gotta run. It was nice to meet you, Vincent. Wow. What an interesting friend. May the piracy pro. I don't know how I feel about Sherman. <laughs> Dude, look now, but Samantha just walked in with your best friend, Johnny Cullen. Johnny Cullen? I can't believe she's been my main business competitor. She was talking about marriage. What, yesterday? This is ridiculous. Flirting with three other girls should show her. But there is nobody else here. Who am I supposed to flirt with? Somehow I thought you'd be taller. Yeah, she was pretty cute, honestly. <laughs> Need one more girl. That was pathetic. You're really taking this hard, aren't you? Perhaps you realize how good you had it with me. See you later, chum. Bro, you just got bagged. Ouch, that was harsh, man, and I'm not talking about what happened with Samantha. Yeah, I know, but at least I got Naomi's number anyway. I'll think I'll head home now. Later, I'm leaving to- Oh, I forgot to tell you. I signed you up for an e-dating service right last night. Enjoy the ladies. What cheese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> it's been a while since I had gone bowling with these guys. Samantha was there with my competitor, Johnny Collin. That didn't ruin my evening, but getting shot down by those girls I was trying to flirt with sure did. At least I got the barista's number. She seemed quite nice.
Okay. Good grief. I went bowling to cheer myself up and ended up getting shot down. I wasn't a total loss. I got Naomi's number. Yes, we got Naomi's number. We get it. Look. She actually... Bro, leave. I guess I can. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh no. <laughs> stay, stay together. Keep it together. We have a pretty cool pool table now. We got a pool and a pool table. Welcome up. Doesn't he have work today? Oh no, he doesn't. Yeah, that's right, get your pool game up, Vincent. Play again. So next time, you can wipe all their booties. Let me give me a last night. Then I'll ask her on a date. To Cliffside Park. What is it? Oh. Uh, it's always the chili con cane, guys. Their outfit. Should we go in a suit <laughs> to the park? No. Why stop now? I look good. I should change my appearance as well. Great. On a romantic uh, dinner? Wow. Can you not see me? See, this time I only let her beep once. And you can't, like, not make them beep at all. Like, they're gonna be beeping, you know? Wow, this park's really nice.
There she is. Good to see you again, Vincent. Oh, she, she eating it up. Are you any good at me show me, Vincent? Not the best, but let's give it a shot anyway. Don't hit on my woman. Bro, stop talking to my lady. Oops. Guys, she's mine. That was a that was fun. What a close game. <laughs> oh no. Just just focus on everything here. What? It was great seeing you last night, Vinny. I got this look of. I got you this look of this. Whatever. <sighs> I'm sorry, Vincent. I thought we had something special. But I was. But it looks like you were just shopping around. No! Naomi. Dang. Poor Vincent, I got this ugly tiki torch. That is not his day today, poor Vincent. I was not shopping around, I was looking to purchase. Dang, poor Vincent. So he needs to, I guess, gather his thoughts. So that's what Samantha was planning. What an evil woman. So I had my first day with that barista, Naomi, but it didn't go quite as I liked. I embarrassed myself badly I, at Miyoshuni, and this strange girl came up to me and thanked me for a date we never had, right in front of Naomi. Naomi just stormed off. She didn't even give me a chance to defend myself. Aw, poor Vincent. 
Anyway, guys, I think I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but uh, with Vincent's story, I am gonna keep it down to only 30 minutes. Uh, just because I need more time to do other things. But I hope that won't decrease your enjoyment of watching me play The Sims. So, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!